Not sure if ICOM 7300 or Yaesu FTD X10 is better? Today, we're diving into the ultimate showdown between two of the most popular HF transceivers out there, the ICOM IC7300 and the Yaesu FTD X10. If you're looking to upgrade your shack or just curious about how these rigs stack up, stick around because I'm about to break down everything you need to know. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk about the displays and user interfaces, because let's be honest, that's where you spend a lot of time when you're operating. The Yaesu FT-DX10 features a stunning LCD touchscreen that's slightly larger and more vibrant than the IC7300s. It makes navigating through menus a breeze, and the waterfall display is just beautiful. Seriously, it's eye candy for any ham. But it's not all perfect. The FT-DX10 has these annoying disappearing touchscreen panels, and the placement of crucial buttons like band and mode is, well, less than ideal. You might find yourself fumbling around more than you'd like during a quick QSY. Now, the ICOM IC7300 has a slightly smaller screen, but don't let that fool you. This 4.3-inch touchscreen is responsive, clear, and very user-friendly. The IC7300's interface is smooth and intuitive, making it easier to get to the functions you need without unnecessary hassle. If you prefer a straightforward experience without a steep learning curve, the IC7300 has the edge here. Now on to performance, where the rubber really meets the road. The Yaesu FT-DX10 is a beast when it comes to its receiver. It's got superb sensitivity and selectivity. And according to Sherwood Engineering, it's one of the top-ranked radios for pulling weak signals out of the noise. If you're a serious contester or DXer, this rig won't disappoint. Meanwhile, the ICOM IC7300 holds its own with its RF direct sampling system, which is a game-changer. This technology reduces noise and delivers clear audio, making it an excellent choice for general use and even some contesting. Plus, the internal auto-tuner works like a charm, tuning up your antennas quickly and efficiently. However, if we're talking about dynamic range, the FT-DX10 slightly edges out the IC7300, especially in noisy environments with strong nearby signals. That makes the FT-DX10 better suited for those tough band competitions. Let's talk about ease of use, because no one likes a rig that's a pain to operate. The ICOM IC7300 is widely praised for its simplicity. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned ham, you'll find the IC7300's interface easy to navigate. It's intuitive, and you won't have to spend hours in the manual to figure things out. Plus, there's a certain fun factor with the IC7300 that makes operating it a joy. Now for the Yaesu FT-DX10. It's got a lot of features, and that's both a blessing and a curse. For those of you who love to tinker and customize every setting, you'll love it. But with all that power comes complexity. The menu system is a bit clunky, and you might find yourself reaching for the manual more often than you'd like. So if you're not into spending a lot of time learning the ins and outs, the FTDX10 might be a bit overwhelming. Next up, build quality and portability. Both radios are solidly built, so no worries there. The ICOM IC7300 is more compact, making it easier to transport if you're planning on taking it to different locations or using it for portable operations. It's rugged enough to handle some bumps along the way, too. The Yaesu FT-DX10 is a bit heftier and feels more substantial on the desk, which is great if you're mainly operating from a fixed location, but that extra weight might be a downside if you're thinking of moving it around a lot. Finally, let's talk about price, because that's a big factor for most of us. The ICOM IC7300 is generally the more affordable option, typically coming in at around $1,100 to $1,400. This makes it a fantastic value, especially considering its performance and ease of use. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this one. The ASU FTDX10 is a bit more expensive, usually ranging from $1,500 to $1,800, but you're paying for that top tier receiver and a feature-rich experience. If performance is your number one priority and you don't mind spending the extra cash, the FT-DX10 might be worth the investment. So which one should you go for? 
If you're someone who values cutting-edge performance and doesn't mind diving into a more complex system, the ASU FT-DX10 is a stellar choice. It's perfect for those who live for contesting and DXing and want a radio that can keep up with the best of them. But if you're looking for a reliable, user-friendly radio that delivers excellent performance without a steep price tag, the ICOM IC7300 is hard to beat. It's a fantastic all-around rig that's easy to use, portable, and still offers great performance for the price. For most operators, the IC7300 offers the best balance of value and usability. At the end of the day, both of these radios are winners in their own right. It really comes down to what you value more, the high-end performance of the FT-DX10 or the simplicity and value of the IC7300. Either way, you can't go wrong, but if I had to choose, I'd go with the ICOM IC7300 for its ease of use and bang for the buck. It's a solid rig that delivers where it counts, and that's something I think we can all appreciate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more ham radio videos. Let me know in the comments which radio you choose and why.